Hi everyone, this is uh, Sean back with uh, another video for you. And uh, today I thought I would try something a little bit different. I want to uh, improve my uh, impromptu speaking skills. And so I'm just going to um, improvise on what I'm going to say. Uh, just uh, ramble off the top of my head. Now I have uh, made uh, a little bit of a preparation here of what I want, want to talk about. Uh, in this discussion, I want to talk about AI, artificial intelligence, or AGI, artificial general intelligence, um, UBI, universal basic income, uh, just spirituality, meditation, and um, <clears throat> yeah, how I feel about these uh, topics. And uh, I understand they're going to have uh, great uh, implications for uh, humanity as a whole. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. Now, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, it's one thing that uh, is on the minds of uh, everybody these days. Um, I think uh, there's a lot of excitement, yet a lot of fear. Um, personally, I'm very excited about uh, its uh, potential. I think um, <clears throat> the implications will be so profound that uh, it will change human civilization as we know it. Um, I've used... Uh, ChatGPT. Uh, um, I'm quite excited about uh, the release of ChatGPT5. It has uh, certainly uh, helped me gain more uh, knowledge and insight, and it ha has uh, definitely uh, helped me with my uh, YouTube content. Um, the last uh, video that I uh, produced with my face being visible, the uh, Andalou Naturals. Clear Skin uh, Bundle 21 Day Challenge. Uh, I used uh, AI to uh, help me uh, produce that script. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it uh, produced uh, text. It produced uh, grammar that uh, I found was far superior, superior to uh, my own uh, skills and abilities and that's the one thing too uh, AI will be a great benefit to humanity but uh, right now there it's getting a, a lo lot of uh, bad rap through the media and for good reason uh, people using uh, AI to uh, distort uh, the speech of uh, celebrities, politicians, um, that is something we have to be very uh, mindful about. Um, I will make the uh, pledge to everyone right here, although uh, I have used uh, some AI for my uh, content, uh, notably my uh, shorts and uh, the uh, video that I just mentioned to you about. Um, I will never uh, upload any um, any any scene where uh, I'm speaking a different language. I tried this once, and I uh, decided to uh, take one of my uh, video clips and uh, make myself speak German. And artificial does a very good artificial intelligence does an excellent job at. Uh, manipulating uh, the uh, words of what one says and uh, they, uh, the algorithms can uh, make anyone uh, speak a foreign language uh, so flawlessly um, which to be honest it is mind-blowing yet it's also scary so I want to avoid uh, doing that at any cost. I want to uh, have uh, a lot of authenticity with my audience to, uh, in order for me to be taken seriously. So, um, yeah, but 
AI is uh, going to uh, help us with our, the way we do our jobs, uh, how we shop. Um, but in the not too distant future, humanoid robots will come onto the scene, uh, gifted with uh, artificial general intelligence, having um, sentience, having the ability to uh, uh, have uh, a human-like conversation with uh, any other biological human. And um, I remember watching this documentary and these uh, school-aged children were talking to uh, this robot uh, with AI-generated uh, uh, words, AI-generated speech. And yeah, although uh, it was uh, a pr very primitive uh, form, a very basic form of AI, it's only going to uh, get better in the uh, years and decades to come. Uh, pretty soon we'll be able to have, uh, you know, very uh, human-like conversations with robots who will be able to uh, understand um, what we're saying. And, yeah, it's going to be uh, pretty... Uh, interesting to see how uh, we can interact with uh, robots and yep and furthermore um you've if you've been watching my content for a while i'm into spirituality and meditation and um the last week i was introduced to this uh, one uh, meditation technique through instagram i don't know if you're aware of of uh, an Italian mathematician. He was, uh, his name was Fibonacci, and he developed the uh, Fibonacci sequence, um, a calculation which, uh, <clears throat> if calculated right, it will end up in a spiral. Um, he, uh, this formula is uh, able to uh, explain why uh, galaxies, nebulas, form the way they do. Blood vessels, uh, flower petals. And um, I tried uh, this uh, technique and I gotta say it's very uh, mind-blowing. It I've had uh, very colorful uh, visions in my third eye. And if you're interested in trying it out, excuse me, here, um, is what you do. Uh, you inhale for 13 seconds and then you exhale for 13 seconds and then you inhale for eight seconds and then you exhale for eight seconds. Then you inhale for five seconds and then you exhale for five seconds and then you inhale for three seconds and then exhale for two. No, excuse me, th three, three, Inhale for three, exhale for three, and then you inhale for two seconds, and then exhale for two, and then you inhale for one second, then exhale for one. And um, yeah, to say the least, it was uh, very powerful. It was unlike uh, anything I've ever experienced. Um, even uh, meditating with the uh, Moldavite uh, did not give me uh, the uh, vibrant, colorful uh, visualizations that uh, were formed through my uh, pineal gland. And uh, if it's something you want to try out, I uh, highly recommend it. I mean, you, I firmly believe that one does not need to uh, use psychedelics in order to have uh, strong, powerful, uh, vivid visualizations. You know, um, your body is a, a powerful machine. It's a powerful tool. Uh, you um, have the resources at your, disposable, at your disposal to uh, manifest such uh, 
such uh, vivid, vivid uh, constructs, vivid uh, images. Um, and I uh, also like to um, listen to astral travel music through uh, YouTube uh, channels. Uh, you can find a whole plethora of uh, astral travel uh, videos that you can uh, lie down and uh, listen to. And um, I've meditated for a long time now. I've been uh, doing it uh, not so much uh, every single day so much anymore, but uh, I used to do it on a daily basis. Uh, uh, in the past, I uh, started meditating uh, seven years ago. And um, yeah, it's really uh, opened uh, the door to uh, higher consciousness, uh, higher spirituality, um, opening myself up to new uh, concepts, constructs of reality, perspectives um, there's no uh, there's no such thing as good or bad in the absolute sense uh, it's all just how you perceive reality and um, yeah um, I've uh, met uh, very uh, spiritual uh, people throughout my journey who've uh, helped me become uh, the person who I am today and um, and uh, there are a lot of uh, YouTube channels uh, about uh, spirituality that I watch most notably uh, actualize.org with Leo Gura um, yeah it's uh, great that uh, Leo Gura, the uh, founder of Actualize.org, has decided to uh, post content again after uh, almost uh, taking a year off. Um, one thing I don't agree uh, with uh, regarding his content is the use of psychedelics. No, that stuff is uh, not for me. Um, I work for a living, so I cannot afford to... Um, Get myself uh, into that habit. Uh, if you, uh, if one wants to uh, explore uh, higher consciousness, uh, the the uh, depths of their mind, uh, they can just uh, do simple uh, mindless te meditation, or um, they can try out that uh, Fibonacci sequence that uh, I was just mentioning. Yeah. <laughs> One thing with that uh, Fibonacci uh, sequence is that uh, my, even my mind uh, seemed to go around and around like a circle. Um, it felt as if I was in a vortex, a tunnel. It's what uh, the uh, sequence resembles when it's drawn out. It's like a, a tunnel, a uh, vortex. And... Uh, I was going through the vortex of uh, of uh, an alternate reality. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, and I'm just uh, very uh, proud of myself. I mean, I mean, it's always great to be a humble but sometimes you uh, need to express pride and joy when you um, accomplish something big and I've come a long way but um, there is uh, much more for me to uh, learn in this lifetime um, you know I I no longer believe in the uh, expression now uh, you know, once you die, you go to heaven or hell. Um, you know, I, I 
one who believes in uh, reincarnation. Uh, you're um, in uh, this one body for uh, a fixed period of time to um, experience uh, different things, to learn uh, certain lessons. And um, yeah, and I've learned a lot throughout my journey. And, um, you know, when, uh, I get to reincarnated, uh, you know, five, 10, 50 more times, I will, uh, have so much uh, more, uh, experience and knowledge, um, in my subconscious that, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a perpetual cycle. Um, there are probably uh, things uh, in uh, my subconscious mind that uh, are buried f beneath me, uh, caring from uh, my ancestors, uh, my past lives. Um, and one time I did a uh, past life uh, regression uh, through um, this one... Uh, hypnotist by the name of Michael Seeley. You may have heard of him, but uh, he produces such amazing uh, works of self-hypnosis. I uh, go recommend you uh, check out his channel and uh, try a couple of uh, hypnosis uh, sessions. And um, one of my, uh, I did one of his uh, past life uh, regression sessions and uh, it turns out uh, in a past life. Now, you have to be radically open to what I'm about to say. Um, you know, it's, uh, I'm not just saying this on a whim, but uh, what my um, unconscious mind revealed was that uh, I was <clears throat> a Prussian farmer in uh, the 18th century who um, was conscripted into the uh, Prussian army under such uh, brutal uh, conditions. And yeah, I just uh, <laughs> felt like revealing that to the world. Um, but uh, yeah, if, uh, you're, if you have an open mind, I'd recommend uh, doing a past life uh, regression. And you don't need to spend a whole fortune on... Um, consulting uh, a hypnotist in person who will charge you like two, three or four hundred dollars or even a thousand dollars per uh, a one hour session. Uh, YouTube uh, has it all. <laughs> and yeah, so. And artificial intelligence will serve as a big convenience for a lot of us but uh, it'll never uh, replace uh, the ones who we love uh, our family uh, very close friends pets um, I have two black cats who are so dear to me and uh, yeah I love them with all of my heart and um, I look forward to um, Possibly adopting more uh, pets in the future. Uh, <laughs> I'd really like to uh, own a black Pomeranian. Or, yeah. <laughs> I uh, used to have a Pomeranian myself uh, a few years back. And, uh, oh, he was such a sweet character. I love to pet him so much. <laughs> he was just a treasure. Yeah, so, anyway, that's uh, that. So, um, I wish to be uh, optimistic about the future. I think the uh, media puts uh, all these uh, circumstances in uh, such a negative light. Uh, the world may uh, seem very dangerous right now with the ongoing war in Ukraine, um, Israel versus Hamas, and uh, the upcoming um, U.S. presidential election between 
Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Um, yeah, there's a lot of tension, but I believe uh, humanity uh, has uh, enough sense to um, avoid uh, self-annihilation. Uh, many of us will come to our senses and wake up and realize, hey, we're not only uh, destroying the planet through cli climate change and war, but uh, yeah, we're uh, sabotaging ourselves, we're sabotaging our, our own uh, species. You know, this uh, is perhaps the most monumental time of, in all of human history. I think um, the Great Awakening is going to uh, happen within the next couple of years or so. Um, yeah, we've uh, reached a tipping point in uh, our history. And uh, I think the next two decades will be the most pivotal. Um, now, I'm an astrology buff, as many of you are aware. Um, right now, Pluto is in Aquarius. Um, and, well, even though it's going to retrograde back into Capricorn in September and though and go back into Aquarius in November and uh, stay in Aquarius for uh, the next 20 years um, yeah these will be uh, times that uh, will try the souls of everybody and uh, yeah the collective consciousness uh, of mankind is just uh, beginning to uh, wake up. And uh, yeah, everything must change for the better. So, um, anyway, I think I'll leave the uh, video at that. I do uh, thank you for watching. And uh, thank you to everyone who uh, has supported me uh on my journey. Uh, I wish uh, great blessings and uh, great fortune upon you. Um, I'll just uh, close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. Um, yep. I'll have e each and every one of you from the, bo the bottom of my heart. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your uh, support and all of your uh, positive comments. And um, yeah, if you're new to my channel, if this is uh, the first video you've uh, seen of me, uh, please like my comment, my content, and uh, please subscribe. I've got uh, a lot of more content headed your way, and uh, stay tuned for that. So yeah, anyway, cheers, uh, blessings, and great fortune upon you, and. Uh, I'll see you really soon. Take care.